Hi, and welcome to VFX Tutors. I'm Josh, and in this tutorial, we will be continuing to use free software to create a professional match move showreel. So in our last tutorial, we created our 3D scan, and now we need to scale and orientate the scan so it's in a good position for when we load it into 3D Equalizer. So for this tutorial, I'm going to use Blender, as it's a great piece of free software, and it'll be perfect for what we need. If you have Maya or 3ds Max or any other 3D software, you can use that. I just want to show it's possible to do this with free software so anyone can create a professional match move reel for free and hopefully get you that job in the VFX industry. So I've got Blender here. I've installed it. So if I just double click on here and load it up. So I'm not going to go through the entirety of Blender because it's a whole 3D program. All we're going to do is absolute basic. We're going to load in our scan, orientate it and scale it, then export it out. Like I say, you can use any 3D software, but if you if you haven't got Maya or any other 3D software and you can't get hold of it, you can only get hold of free stuff. Blender's your, your go-to to do this. So let's start up with this. Um, the controls are very much very a little bit different to Maya. So if you hold your mouse middle roller, you can uh, rotate round. If you hold your middle mouse roller and shift, it translates around like that. So I'm just going to go to File, Import, and Wavefront OBJ. And I'm just going to I'm already here, but if I just go to my data where I exported it, scan. Then I've got my mesh room caches. I go to texturing, then select my textured mesh and import OBJ. This might take a little bit of time, depending on how dense it is, but it shouldn't take too long. Cool. So now if we look, we can see what's completely wrong with our mesh and this is not great so if we bring this into 3d now our orientation is going to be completely off so the first thing that we want to do is check this uh, scale and blender so I am just going to go down to my scene group here on the right the little sort of cone and clear um, sphere and if you go into units, you can see we're in the metric and our length is meters. So if we do change this to centimeters, or let's just leave that on meters now. So each one of these is now a meter. So if you change this, you can see how now one feet it's changing so so what we can do we can just hide this cube we're in the correct uh, unit so let's select our textured mesh and we're not going to spend loads in this it's going to be really quick all we're going to do is rotate it around and we're just going to orientate this as nicely as possible like I say you can you can be using Maya for this quite quite easily um, but for the case that not everyone might have Maya and just being able to do this all for free with free software, um, just using Blender basically. So I'm just going to try and get this as close to the center as possible. Try and get it nice and level, although it's going to be quite difficult, but we can get it roughly. So if we turn this cube on, we've got like a meter cube now, so we can scale this up. So if we select uh, in this area here, so it uniformly scales it. And uh, let's roughly get that sort of, doesn't need a massive amount of scaling. 
we can see that's a, a meter high, so we can turn that queue off now. And this is all we're using this for. In fact, let's we can trim some of this sort of. Because when we looked at our image sequence and what we're tracking, we only ever see this bit here. So you can either trim all this sort of junk geo off if you want, but you probably are not going to see it anyway. Um, so if you want to trim all this down, you can. Um, for now, I'm just going to leave it. Like um, if you wanted to uh, delete some of this geo, you can go to modeling. And now you can see that it's got all the vertices and uh, edges highlighted. And you can choose whether to change your vertex or your edges and your polygons here. And you can just select them all, right click, oh no, sorry, delete uh, vertices and that should delete everything. Might leave some bits behind, but um, I'm not too bothered about it. I'm just going to leave this as it is because we're not going to see it. Uh, we might do. In fact, let's not to worry about it. We can we can change our clipping plane in it. If it, if we see anything that we don't like, we can we can hide it. But it doesn't matter. So we're pretty much done now. All we have to do now is um yeah, just export it. So make sure you got your mesh selected. So I've got the textured mesh selected here, and it should be highlighted in orange. I'm just going to go file, export, wait for an OBJ again. So I'm just going to navigate to my folder. Uh, I'll make a new one, and I'll just call this um, layout scan. Like you can spend more time getting it more uh, perfect if you want, but we, it, it doesn't matter so much for this. And we'll just call this tree scan v01. And now we'll just select export. This might take a little bit of time for it to export. It shouldn't take too long. And that's pretty much it for this bit. Very, very quick. Just to import something into Blender and orientate it, then export it out, basically. So it uh, comes in nicely into 3DE. So hopefully that's going to export. Cool. So yeah, we're pretty much done. So our next step would be to bring this into 3DE and start tracking our shot. So if you've enjoyed this tutorial, I know it's been quick, hit that like button and subscribe for more.